Krogan man's body was found in the middle of an ancient bog. So how did he get there? This incredible structure may provide the answer. It's known as a trackway, part of a lost ancient network of wetland roads that once crisscrossed bogs all over Ireland. Some of them are fantastic feats of engineering which stretch for kilometers. They're made up of oak planks laid on top of birch runners, which are then laid on top of this brushwood to stop them from sinking. It can be up to four meters wide, uh, and they think that it's big enough to take wheeled carts on. So that's the sort of size structure we're looking at. But while some trackways were for transportation, others appear to have had a more mysterious purpose. Some of them just go out into the bog and lead to nowhere. They stop in the middle of nowhere in the bog. Now, this could be thought of as something that was accidental. But around these areas, we find these deposits. We find artifacts of importance. And so these are thought to possibly be lines out into a ritual area. These sacred effigies were found at the end of a trackway. And that's not all. Other objects have been found here as well. This is a wooden vessel of Iron Age date filled to the top with butter. It has been placed in a bog as an offering to the goddess. It's seeking big returns from the deities in terms of good crops, protection of the cattle, bountiful supplies of milk and butter. This is a very valuable offering, which an entire community has contributed to. For Ned Kelly, the discovery of this mummy in a bog, the same environment where religious offerings were made, is a vital clue. People believed that these places were inhabited by spirits, by gods. When the sun sinks at night, it goes down into the other world where the dead are. And then it rises the next day. And the redness of the bog indicates that this is a portal into that other world. So this is a place where you can go to make contact with the ancestors and with the deities that inhabit the other world.